Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on certs. This is quite a large topic so we're going to break it up into a few different videos and we'll begin with the basics here, starting with what actually are certs. So certs are the square roots of numbers, like root 5 for instance, where the number inside the square root is not a square number. Uh, so other examples will be root 2, root 3 and so on. So anytime you have the square root of a number that's not a, uh, a square number, sorry, uh, these will be certs. So thirds are examples of irrational numbers, and we're going to look at some key skills in this video uh, to do with manipulating thirds. So the first skill that we'll look at is multiplying two thirds together. So if we have the square root of a, and we're multiplying this by the square root of b, we can simplify this expression as the square root of a times b, or uh, for short we can say root a b. So if we use this idea and look at some examples, if we have root 7 times root 2, this is equal to root 7 times 2, uh, which is equal to the square root of 14. Or we can have root 6 squared, so this is going to be equal to root 6 times root 6, which is equal to the square root of 6 times 6, so root 36, and obviously root 36 is equal to 6. So if you have uh, root a times root a, that gives you a, that's the definition of a square root. So the next skill we'll look at is dividing thirds. So this is where we have the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So we can write this as a fraction as root a over root b. And this is equivalent to writing the square root of the whole fraction a over b. So uh, as an example, let's take root 10 over root 5. So this is equal to root 10 over 5, uh, which is equal to root 2. Another example, we could have 8 root 12 over 2 root 3. So we can take out a factor of 8 over 2 here. And then we have 8 over 2 times root 12 over root 3. So this is equal to 4 times the square root of 12 over 3, which is 4 root 4, which is equal to 4 times 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So that simplifies to 8. Now the last skill we'll look at in this video is adding and subtracting thirds. So this is similar to collecting like terms, so if you're not familiar with that concept then I recommend you watch our video on that first. Uh, but otherwise, uh, if you have root a plus root a, then this, this simplifies to 2 root a. Uh, but you can only add like terms, uh, so if we have root a plus root a plus root b, this is equal to 2 root a plus root b. Uh, don't make the mistake of thinking this is equal to 2 root a plus b or anything like that. You can only add like terms together. Uh, so the like terms in this case are where we have like thirds. So root a and root a are like terms. Root b is not a like term. If you're feeling good about this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked so you get feedback on where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.